Hey everybody and welcome to another Headway video. I thought I would make a quick video uh, since a lot of people were asking what happened to the custom CSS and custom uh, PHP files uh, that were in Headway 2.0. So if we go into our themes folder uh, and we look at an old version of Headway. So Headway uh, 2.0.11 uh, one thing you'll notice is there was this custom CSS file and this custom folder and inside the custom folder there were images uh, there was a, a network custom.php file and a custom functions.php file well in order to uh, kind of work with the child theme uh, API that WordPress sets up and to uh, really be able to change the update process around uh, one thing that we had to do is we had to get rid of these two uh, pieces in in headway so uh, they are gone uh, if you look in the headway folder here uh, this is headway 3.0 uh, you don't see those in here uh, so where are they uh, well the easiest way to uh, describe where they're at is uh, you have to make a child theme uh, for those and so what we've done is is we've kind of backed off on uh, the headway specific components of uh, building a child theme and made it very easy for you to uh, create a child theme uh, that has those files uh, so what I've done here uh, let me close those up is I've created this one uh, child theme called custom code and I'm going to zip this up and uh, make this available uh, in a uh, downloadable form uh, but basically what this is is it's a, just a dry skeleton um, uh, child theme and so in the style.css uh, just, I just want to kind of show you what's in here um, it's the bare bones version of uh, creating your child theme so you need to have uh, this uh, block of of uh, code here uh, that says it's a child theme of headway uh, so once you've got that in here uh, the CSS uh, file is is going to know uh, in head in in WordPress to load uh, headway as well so uh, that needs to be done and then you need to have this functions.php file now you don't have to have anything in here and I put a few things in here. Uh, just I just added theme support for post post formats to show you uh, how to add post formats very easily. Um, but all you need is this this uh, open PHP uh, tag, and uh, the the functions.php file is is set and ready to go. Uh, now I went ahead a little farther and, and put a CSS folder, an images folder. In a JS folder if you're going to do any JavaScript um, and then I also put in a screenshot which is just a a, a black uh, image all right so now that this is in your themes folder uh, when you go to appearance and themes uh, you'll see a custom code theme for adding custom code it's uh, theme version is 0 0.1 and it's by me uh, it gives you a brief little description of it uh, when you click activate, it's going to activate this as kind of the primary theme in, in WordPress. Uh, but one thing you're going to notice is that the Headway 3 uh, menu is still here, and that's because it's loading that Headway uh, template, so to speak. So we can still go in here to the visual editor. Uh, we can still make things, uh, make blocks on a page. We can go into the to design. Um, you'll see that it's got this green background. That's actually coming from the uh, background uh, of the style.css file in the child theme. Uh, we can go in here, though, and we could change the wrapper color to, you know, some, uh, like, light blue or light gray. We'll just do light gray instead since that kind of looks okay. All right, so we've done that. We save it. We can view the site. Um, and then if we if we look at the CSS, and I'm just going to inspect the element here. Um, 
you can see body is pulling in green and it's pulling off of this style.css and this style.css is our child theme. So we know that uh, the child theme is loading and headway is loading this way. Um, and that's really it for creating uh, uh, a way to add custom CSS uh, that you want to add and add custom functionality uh, using uh, functions.php file, um, adding it through PHP code, um, or, or even going a step further and adding uh, your own JavaScript uh, files uh, to, to it. So I don't want to cover too much more on child themes. Uh, if you want to learn about child themes specifically, uh, there'll be another video for that. Uh, but this should get you started in being able to uh, create a child theme that allows you to uh, add those uh, custom code files back from Headway 2.0.